Well, we're ready into the second cup competition of the season and it starts and kicks off on Friday with Maritzburg United hosting a Platinum Stars that will be on your World of Champions from half past seven. And then on Saturday, you can catch Golden Arrows. They play host to Orlando Pirates. And then Bloemfontein Celtic. It's going to be a difficult fixture for them. The Super Sports United, the new cup specialist that will be at the Dr. Mulumela Stadium. You can also catch on Sunday a very enticing match. Chief by United, the Chili Boys. They welcome Mamelodi Sundowns to the Sisadukashe Stadium. That's in Tanzania. And then Baroka FC, the surprise package of this season, play host to defending TKO champions Cape Town City. That's going to be at Freedom Gama Stadium at half past three. All right, he got, what, 27 point something percent of the vote, though, when you're looking at about 790,000 votes, and that, that's what you need. But a certain guy by the name of Olivier Giroud decided to take all the votes and win the Pushka Award. Now, when it win the Pushka Award, you know, you've got to... You've got to have some flair about you. You're going to be sitting next to uh, big names. You're going to be sitting next to the uh, Gigi Buffons of this world. But you sit next to them as if, I'm uh, Oprah, Jim. Say, Texi, Ni, Oprah, hey, Portuguese. Whoa, what's your name? Huh? But you're sitting next to Gigi Buffon. Hey, Master Look. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, Rob. How's, thank how's you. the jet lag? No, I do as good, man. Get it nice. You're flying overseas for the first time. Yeah, it's the first time. First time? That is like uh, the first time scoring the goal in the Premier League. Yes. Yeah, and first time to go to... Oh, and what, uh, what was it like, though? Man, give me the experience. I'm not going to ask you all the other silly questions. I want, I want you and your experience. There you are getting onto the flight. Do they at least sit you in business class? Were you in business class? Yes. So you, they were giving you that hot towel, very hot towel, to wash your face. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They gave you. Yeah, they gave me. You didn't wash your whole body with it. You just <laughs> washed your Girl. face. Yeah, I didn't wash my face. I know. Just, just the face. No, I don't wash my face, no. Uh, and then they ask you, do you want uh, water, champagne, or orange juice? Which one did you go for? Uh, water and juice. Juice. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And then later on, when they start serving the serious stuff, which one did you order? No, <laughs> 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 like, like uh, I didn't go all out. Mm -hmm. I just wanted water and juice right? because, like, I was focusing. Right? Because uh, I'm going. I'm still going there. Water and juice only. Sorry. Water and juice. Water and juice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing because you're, we, we, we like you as a, an achiever. And I want to congratulate you, though, because, you know, it got to a stage last year where Shompoke Kane was part of the big number, but he never made the small number. And Mina and everybody else here on Thursday Night Live, we just want to congratulate you because making a top three yeah. is an achievement on its own. I, I hope you understand that. No, I th I'd like to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my man. And, and the experience, though, hey, I will go get him. And who, who gave you that suit? Yeah, like, uh, the, um, when they had, like, uh, I'm in top three, like, I got a sponsor, uh, the Divine Style and Shiloman. Is that, is those guys that uh, made the suit for me, designed a suit for me so that I can go there and represent the country with that so they look nice, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. So someone sponsored you? Yeah. Hmm. They sponsored me, yeah. Just for that day, or they're going to sponsor you for life? Yeah, even now, like, I, I said, no. I will find Rob wearing the suit. I can't wear the suit. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me come, like, wearing my clothes. <laughs> yeah, well, when I left Polokwane, I was holding my suit. I said, can I wear that suit? I said, no. Hey. Let me leave it. They, that, that company must sponsor you for life, though. Yeah, I think they will. Do, do they so. will? Yeah. Yeah. So the next, the next time I, I have you here on the show, I want to see you wearing that suit. I will come wearing it. Yeah. I will come. Because you are going to be the goalkeeper of the month. Yeah. Right? We don't want you to be that guy who's going to be known for that goal and for going to Pushka. So can I allow you to become the goalkeeper of the month next year, 2018? Yeah, you can allow me. You can. Yeah. All right. So who, who was the nicest person to you? 
there. I, I know you took pictures with J.J. Okocha. You took pictures with uh, uh, Olivier Giroud. Who was the nicest guy to you? Like, uh, all of them, they were nice to me. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, even me, I was surprised. Why would those people that were nice to me? You see, like, uh, I was surprised even me, myself. Mm. Surprised why those guys, they were nice to me. Like, they're nice, even that place. They are nice. All of them, they're nice. Yeah. Yeah, even the supporters, most of people, they are supporting football. They're nice, to, even nice to me. When I, like, more special, when I arrived at the airport, I saw the young boy, young boy, holding the phone, like, and Instagram, like, he's checking, like, this guy is at Oscar, and he's telling his family that, no, this one is Oscar, and I know him from Instagram. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, was waiting for me at the airport. So, like, I didn't disappoint him. I told the one dot that came and fetched me that airport, though, I'm going with this boy. Hmm. Yeah, this family, they will come there and find him there at the hotel where I'm going to stay. Sure. Let's, let's get to this moment here. I'll get Mueng's thoughts as well. Uh, I mean, here you were, uh, Gigi. Buffon sitting next to you, uh, you just sitting behind Antonio Conte. I mean, can you believe it? I mean, this is, this is what dreams are made of, uh, if we had to be serious about this here. When, when you realize the people that you are sitting with, next to, in front of, behind of, what was going through your mind? I like you, since I was young, I didn't expect like something like that could be happen to me. Like, it's a... I can't say the dream comes true because I didn't know that I'm going to score a beautiful goal like that I score. You see, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, firstly, like, let me say that like, um, I would like to thank everyone who voted for me so that I can go to top three and represent the country. It's if it's not uh, Africa or South Africa who voted for me, like uh, most of the people didn't recognize me. Mm -hmm. They will just see my goal, like, yo, it's a goal, it's from South Africa. Mm -hmm. But it made me, like, even, now, even you now, you called me so that I can come here because you told that that uh, Oscar in his, is a top three, and it's only a only South African men who go to Pushkas, our top three. Huh. Tell me, did you congratulate this man that's sitting next to you? you do you know this man? Thing of Rob. <laughs> no, I don't know. All right, just introduce each other, please. <laughs> just hi, shake hands, shake hands, please. Just shake hands. Yeah. Oscar, oh, the same. Okay, yeah. same. congratulations. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Sam is a director. Yeah. So uh, as a director, he sits in the van and he directs. And he's directed football where Baroque oh. FC have played. You, you, Sam, you, you've directed some of the games. I think there, I have, right? yes. Yeah, uh, but not that game where he's No, not that specific one. You missed out on that one. So, so Sam <clears throat> is making history. Uh, you know this game called rugby? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So rugby, you would have played lock if you played rugby. You would have been enough. a lock. It's yeah. tall enough. You're tall enough. You get the ball, get, you know, punch as well sometimes. But <laughs> <laughs> Sam is making history. He's going to be directing the Curry Cup final. So when it comes to black people, not too many have had a chance to do that. And if my memory serves me well, he's the second black person to do that. And that is why he's on the magic couch today, so that we wish him the best of luck. His journey is an amazing journey from where he started to where he is right now. And, and, and I think, Sam, while you were talking with Mueng, you've, you've spoken about the different aspects of what made and brought you your success. And <clears throat> I want to congratulate you. Thank you, Rob. As well. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, any, you. Any, any major things that you'll start running through your mind now in preparation for the final? Uh, things that <clears throat> getting through my mind is just mainly the planning at the moment because on the day you know if you know if your preparation is not done mm. on the day the execution becomes much more difficult you know even just before coming to the show here i was busy working mm. prepping on i was saying to tato the the family affair you know and remembering that uh you got your jean de villas who played 10 to 12 final day you know again in the same field you know you got 
uh, Odon Dungani, who is playing his last game tomorrow mm. for the Sharks, retiring. And you know, after 17 years with one union, mm. you know, it's all those kind of things that you have to remember. You know, and remembering that uh, before the semi-finals, Province had to go and play Sharks in Durban to win to qualify for the semi-finals. You know, and having to meet the same team again in the in the final becomes a different story. You know, having to remember that uh, Robert Dupree Jr. was man of the match at that time against his own father and his two <laughs> brothers. You know. That is a story, and he, him saying that he hasn't lost much from, to, against his father, he always wins. So it brings a different element to it, you know, people to understand. I need to know all those stories. Mm. They mustn't catch me by surprise on the day. Mm. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And, and I think any dream, if you put your mind to it, will come true. And that is where exactly Sam is at the moment. Now, I, I, I think from your side, you know, people on Twitter just uh, amazed that, you know, the brother man is back and home soil and excited <laughs> as well. You see, the problem is, Rob, um, a lot of people on Twitter actually assume that I know how to read is Shangani, is Venda, but I'm going to try. Lirisa Kobela tweets us every single week, and this is what she's tweeted. He can't represent you at Elanda at Masuluke. Uta Ikuma Award Sikuri Wani. We are proud of you. Does that make sense? Did I read it right? Yeah, it's right, it's right. <laughs> okay. Well, a lot of people are really happy to see Oscarin on the Magic Couch again, back in the SA, despite the loss and despite not getting it. At the end of the day, I think um, more importantly, Oscarin, is that you went overseas and you got to sit in an arena with the best in the world of football. And hopefully that is rubbed off on you and you're only going to greater heights. Sure, ZM Zimba. Why did you change your Twitter name? All right, we're going to come back and have more further questions as well for Sam as well as Oscarini. And we are going to be back, though, straight after this.